Is your car idling rough, hesitating on acceleration, or throwing throttle sensor error codes? Good news, resetting your throttle position sensor could fix it without expensive repairs. Today, we're breaking down 8 simple ways you can reset your TPS right from your driveway. Make sure you watch till the end, because method number 8 might just save you hundreds at the mechanic. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, let's jump right in. Number 1. Disconnecting the battery. One common way to reset the throttle position sensor, TPS, is by disconnecting the car's battery. First, turn off the ignition and remove the key from the slot. Open the hood and locate the negative terminal of the battery, usually marked with a minus sign. Use a wrench to loosen the clamp and detach the cable from the battery. Let the battery stay disconnected for about 20 to 30 minutes to drain residual power from the system. This process helps reset the engine control unit, ECU, erasing any stored throttle position data. Afterward, reconnect the battery terminal tightly and start the car. Let the engine idle for about 10 minutes without any throttle input. The ECU will relearn the default throttle settings automatically. This method is simple but effective for many vehicles. 2. Ignition Key Cycling Method Another method to reset the TPS is by cycling the ignition key several times without starting the car. Sit in the driver's seat and insert the key into the ignition switch. Turn the key to the ON position but do not start the engine, wait for about 10 seconds. Then, turn the key back to the OFF position and leave it off for another 10 seconds. Repeat this process about 3 to 4 times consecutively without touching the gas pedal. This tells the ECU to reinitialize the throttle settings in many older vehicles. After completing the cycles, start the car and let it idle undisturbed for a few minutes. During this time, avoid revving the engine or pressing the accelerator. This simple reset can help fix throttle response problems without any tools. Always check your car's manual to ensure it supports this method. Number 3. OBDII Scanner Reset Using an OBDII scanner is one of the most accurate ways to reset the TPS properly. First, locate the OBDII port underneath the dashboard, usually near the driver's side. Plug in the scanner and turn the car's ignition to the ON position without starting the engine. On the scanner menu, look for an option like Throttle Position Reset or Idle Relearn. Follow the on-screen prompts to initiate the reset process carefully. Once the reset is complete, start the engine and monitor the idle speed and throttle response. Some advanced scanners also allow you to view live throttle readings before and after resetting. This method is highly effective for modern vehicles equipped with electronic throttle control systems. Using a scanner ensures that the throttle system returns to factory specifications. It's a professional approach that often solves more stubborn throttle issues. Number 4. Throttle Body Relearn Procedure Certain vehicles require a specific throttle body relearn procedure after a TPS reset. To start, turn the ignition key to the ON position for about 2 seconds without touching the gas pedal. Then, press the accelerator fully down and release it slowly, repeating this movement about 5 times. Turn the ignition OFF and wait for about 10 seconds to allow the system to reset. Next, start the engine without pressing the accelerator and let it idle for at least 5 to 10 minutes. During this time, do not use any electrical accessories like the AC or headlights. The engine may idle high initially but should stabilize as it relearns the throttle position. If the idle remains rough, the procedure may need to be repeated. This method is especially important for vehicles with drive-by-wire throttle systems. Always refer to your owner's manual for model-specific instructions. Number 5. Manually adjusting the TPS sensor. On older vehicles with adjustable TPS sensors, manual adjustment is another way to reset it. Begin by locating the sensor, usually mounted on the throttle body near the intake manifold. Disconnect the sensor's wiring harness carefully and loosen the mounting bolt slightly. Rotate the sensor very slowly either clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust its position. 
use a multimeter to measure the output voltage at the TPS connector terminals during adjustment. Typically, the correct reading should be between 0.5V and 0.7V at closed throttle. Once the correct voltage is achieved, tighten the bolt securely to lock the sensor in place. Reconnect the wiring harness and start the vehicle to verify smooth idling. Manual adjustment takes precision and patience but can fix throttle irregularities. It's important to consult your vehicle specifications for exact voltage requirements before attempting this. Number 6. Cleaning the throttle body before resetting. A dirty throttle body can interfere with TPS readings and cause erratic behavior. To prevent this, clean the throttle body thoroughly before resetting the TPS. Start by disconnecting the air intake duct attached to the throttle body. Use a throttle body cleaner and a soft cloth or brush to remove carbon buildup and debris inside. Pay close attention to the edges of the throttle plate, where grime tends to accumulate. Avoid spraying cleaner directly into the throttle body if there are electronic components inside. After cleaning, allow everything to dry completely before reassembling. Perform a throttle position reset using any method mentioned earlier. Cleaning improves throttle plate movement and sensor accuracy dramatically. A clean throttle body ensures that the sensor measures the correct airflow and position. Always handle throttle body parts carefully to avoid damaging sensitive sensors. Number 7. Disconnecting and reconnecting the TPS. Another basic way to attempt a TPS reset is to disconnect and reconnect the sensor itself. Locate the TPS mounted on the throttle body and turn off the ignition completely. Gently unplug the electrical connector attached to the TPS, being careful not to damage the pins. Leave the sensor unplugged for about 5 to 10 minutes to allow any residual current to drain. Reconnect the plug securely, ensuring it snaps into place firmly without forcing it. Then, turn the ignition to the ON position for a few seconds without starting the engine. Start the car and allow it to idle for a few minutes while the system recalibrates. This method is simple but can clear small glitches causing erratic throttle behavior. Always check for any loose connections after completing this process. If problems persist, further diagnostics might be necessary. Number 8. Professional ECU reprogramming. In some cases, simple resets are not enough, and full ECU reprogramming becomes necessary. This is especially true for newer vehicles with complex electronic throttle control systems. A professional mechanic will connect the car to specialized diagnostic software capable of deep system access. The technician will perform a complete throttle relearn or even reflash the ECU if needed. This ensures the ECU recognizes and calibrates the new or existing TPS settings precisely. Although this service costs more than DIY methods, it provides guaranteed results. It is often necessary when the throttle position sensor is replaced or when severe errors are logged. After professional reprogramming, you will notice better throttle response, smoother idling, and improved fuel efficiency. Always ensure you go to a certified repair shop with the right experience and tools. Proper ECU reprogramming restores factory performance standards effectively. And there you have it, 8 ways to reset your throttle position sensor like a pro. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Have questions? Drop them down in the comments, we reply to everyone.